Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. Today, we're out on the Rotary Trail. And the Rotary Trail is a combination of trails here in Clarenville, just off Elizabeth Swan Park. So what, you'll, what I mean by a combination of trails is that there's a short loop and a longer loop. Today, we're taking the shorter route and we're leaving from the intersection of Tilly's Road and Memorial Drive. So that's gonna bring us in along the lower Shoal Harbor River. We're gonna go in through the trail, across the bridge here at the Rotary Trail uh, at the Elizabeth Swan Park. We're gonna go around and come back and back over to the intersection. It's about mm, four kilometers. It's three point change kilometers. And uh, it's a beautiful trail. It's one of our signature trails here in Clarenville. As I say, it's a series of trails because there's a longer loop as well. And I'll do that in another video. But today we're looking at the three to four kilometer route, depending on where you start. If you start at the bridge out at the intersection, it's four kilometers. If you start at the Swan Park, it's three kilometers. Beautiful, flat, easy to walk trail. I encourage you during the summer, particularly during the home year, to get out and show your friends and family some beauty. It's just like being in the middle of the woods right in town. So I encourage you to do that. Also, there's a beaver dam in there so you can potentially see some beavers, which is good and um, check it all out. So come along, let's get started. So now I'm standing on a new section of trail. This was put in earlier this year by volunteers, and thank you volunteers. Um, what it was supposed to do was to avoid the river, moved away from the river because in the springtime, especially flooding, does a good job on this trail, and traditionally it's always been a problem. So uh, what had happened is the trail moved back away from the stream, and you can kind of see it here. It's a little further back now as a result. We're hoping, I think everyone realizes that there probably still will be some flooding whenever you have a trail next to a brook. But uh, anyway, hopefully it will reduce the damage anyway. And here we have another spot. Lots of picnic tables. So if you look for lunch some afternoon at work and you want to go have a nice place for lunch, come in this trail along this new pathway. That will be great. Sit down here, right next to the river there. Oh, that power put that there a few years ago. And you can see the boat. So I'm up on the bridge here that goes across the Dark Hall River. And we look up close, you can see Beaver dam up there. And we can see that the beaver has quite an elaborate dam there. And over there, we can see his house. No sign of him though. This is, they're usually out in the night, not around now.
Okay, well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our trip along the trail. See you next time.